The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 9, verses 7 to 9. Herod the Tetrarch had heard about all that was being done by Jesus, and he was puzzled because some people were saying that John had risen from the dead, others that Elijah had reappeared, still others that one of the ancient prophets had come back to life. But Herod said, John, I beheaded him. So who is this I hear such reports about? And he was anxious to see Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers, sisters, youngsters and children, before I begin, some, some input or some instructions or uh, some insights about the life of Padre Pio. He is an Italian Franciscan friar, a priest, Franciscan priest, and is better known as Padre Pio. Everyone is familiar with him, Padre Pio, and he is known for his suffering, humility, and miracles. He is known for his sufferings and humility and miracles and so on, isn't it? We all are familiar with his life and his stories and so on, and therefore uh, I need not share more in this regard. Shortly after his ordination, he received stigmata and is a very very powerful saint, gifted and humble person and he is a patron saint of civil defense volunteers and adolescents. So in a special way we pray for them too. My dear friends, our thoughts are very important. Our thoughts are very very important. There is a saying, there is a saying, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. See, what you imagine you create. In the gospel, we see heaven. Heaven is affected by two thoughts, two thoughts. One, he was perplexed. Why? Because someone said John has been raised from the dead. Because he is aware that he is the one who beheaded John. How can this be possible? So he was perplexed. Another one, in that perplexing moments, what he did was, he was so anxious to see Jesus. That thought also was there. Who is this person? People are talking so many things. And he was so anxious to see Jesus. Therefore he was waiting. He was waiting or looking for an opportunity to encounter him. My brothers and sisters, we are worried about many things in life, isn't it? So many thoughts are choking us and we entertain those thoughts and we are not able to focus, we are disturbed or distracted with many things in life which keeps us all in an anxious mode. Which keeps us all in an anxious mode. In our spiritual world, there are two temples where God dwells. There are two temples where God dwells. The first one is building that we make, that which is already being made. The second one is our own selves. Our own selves. We build churches, big posh ones, spending crores and crores of rupees. Yes. What about our own, which lies in ruins? What about our own which lies in ruins? God today through the first reading is reminding us the reasons for our un unhappiness and discontentment because we fail to build the house of the Lord in our hearts. Now this is the reason for our discontentment and unhappiness because we fail to build that temple in our heart. From the first reading, Haggai chapter 1 verse 6, Haggai chapter 1 verse 6, he gives a reason. He gives a reason. You have sown much. My brothers and sisters, these are very powerful words. Listen carefully to these words. Haggai chapter 1 verse 6, he gives a reason. You have sown much 
and harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And you that earn wages, earn wages to put them into a bag with holes. See my brothers and sisters, isn't this, isn't this exactly is happening to our lives? Similar things exactly happening to us. We have that discontentment, unhappiness. You, you have so much, but harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourself, but no one is warm. And you that earn wages, earn wages to put them into a bag with holes. You're earning it, earning, but it is going through another end, another corner. You don't know how it is coming and how it is going away. Because this building is lying in ruins. We are not taking care of it. We are not building it up. Therefore, this is lying in ruins. Therefore, we need a slight change of thought in this regard, my brothers and sisters. Slight change of thought. Big, big buildings and constructions of the place of worship is fine. However, have I built myself in the spirit of the Lord? Have I built myself in the spirit of the Lord? Big churches, but no people. Big churches, but no people. Let's focus this area of importance. God is pointing us today. It's a very important area. God is pointing us today. He is waiting to build His church on us. He is waiting to build his church on us for he said for he said you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church on this rock I will build my church am I ready am I ready if ready we will open our hearts to God today to his spirit and say yes Lord I am ready build your church on me let us focus on, on ourselves today. Lord, I need to build myself. I need to have a lot of spiritual energy to face the challenges of this world. During this Holy Eucharist, my brothers and sisters, let us offer and pray for ourselves and for the intention of this Holy Mass. May God be praised and glorified forever. Amen.